It's not trekking through the jungle in the steaming heat. It's not eating shish kebabs made of monkey meat. It's not cutting up pythons with your pocket knife that makes the biggest part of a missionary's life. But it's praying that your kids will just take a nap while you're trying to find a church with a hand-drawn map. It's raising your kids from the front seat of your car while you're driving down the road trying to figure out where you are and who you are and why you're there and how much money you're going to make at the next church and if they're going to pay for your gasoline or not. <clears throat> and every missionary out there could add six more lines to this thing. Anyway. It's not cruising down the river in the dugout log. It's not being guest of honor where they're serving dog. It's not shooting the breeze in Swahili with the old Zulu. Because the Zulu don't speak Swahili. But that's poetic license anyways. But it's getting rid of things that you've had for years while you try to pack a barrel through a blur of tears. It's saying goodbye to Grandma just one more time. While you're sitting in the airport just pretending that you're feeling fine It's not wearing funny clothes in a foreign land It's not speaking jungleese like the natives can It's not baptizing thousands in a single day Or always getting what you wanted every time you pray But it's growing to love people that you've come to know And rejoicing in the changes as you see them grow It's being amazed at all the things God has done then it's going home on furlough when you feel like you have just begun. Then it's going home on furlough when you feel like you have just begun. <laughs> <laughs>